Uh, hi, this, this video we're going to be taking a look at the problem of multivariate non-normality or non-linearity, uh, ensuring that we meet those assumptions. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to graphs. We're going to come down to legacy dialogues. We're going to select scatter dot. And then of all these choices, we want to choose the matrix scatter, which will give us many different scatter plots at one time. And then what I've done already, and you can do, is uh, make sure you uh, have the variable names showing and sort alphabetically, and bring over the variables of the analysis. So we're looking at R income 4, age 2, eduke, and hours 1. And what we're looking for, if we click OK, we're all set to go. We'll get a matrix of scatter plots. And this is really nice because you can imagine it would take quite a long time to go through each one of these one by one and create them. On the dia diagonal, we have nothing there because that would be a matrix with itself. And that uh, would be perfect association. No need to display that. But the remaining graphs, this is a mirror, by the way. The graphs below the diagonal and the graphs above the diagonal are the same thing. Uh, they're just uh, mirror images of each other, kind of reflected, reversing the independent and dependent variable, but producing the same shape, just kind of rotated. All right, so what we're going to do is just look at the bottom here. And what we're looking for are elliptical shapes. I know that doesn't sound very scientific, does it? And it's kind of a bit of a interpretation. Is it is it shaped like an elliptical? Is it not? And this one, for instance, between education and our income four, that looks a little bit uh, questionable. We might reevaluate that particular set of variables, something perhaps nonlinear or non normal about that. And the way we would treat that is simply to go back to the uh, univariate normality analysis, and then potentially we would transform in this case, maybe education. Uh, so that's uh, how we would detect and perhaps treat multivariate non-normality or non-linearity. Thank you.